So this is going to be interesting. In a matchup that was already kind of like gimmicky and weird in Smash 4, uh, it's definitely strange now. Yeah. I think the one thing I remember, I think Angel Cortez was talking about this matchup to someone. And it's like, you just have to oppress the Bowser. Like, yeah. you just can't let him breathe, or else he's going to grab you and, you know, do Bowser things. But in this game, it might be slightly different. Yeah, it's definitely different on both ends, because yeah. Bowser doesn't have, like, the, the crazy, you know, uh, grappler killing combos that he has. But yeah. I think that's the scariest, oh, in my opinion, the most about Bowser, is that A is that. And B is because Bowser A is just much faster, and I feel like the jump, the universal jump squat change uh, has just made life, like, so much better for these heavyweights, yeah. because... Uh, the hardest part for, you know, these guys is being able to do anything out of shield. And not all these guys have, like, you know, frame three out of shield options. It makes things far easier. But nonetheless, Banana is still a very impressive tool uh, in Diddy Kong's kit. Oh, wow. Like, oh, my. God. Well, I mean, it's Bowser. I should yeah. expect it to be strong. But that down smash is new to this game. He no longer just spins in place. He, he kind of he takes a page from Wolf's book. Yeah, that's very true. He has those big claws. Might as well use them. So great start there from Leon. Gets the parry into the side B, and side B is pretty much replaced Bowser's, like, regular grab <laughs> in regards to, like, both damage and, like, uh, yeah, it pretty much just strictly damage for the most part in this game uh, than in Smash 4. It's just really good. And you can do that. Look how much damage it does. It did, like, 20. Yeah, and you can also, like, chase and, like, bait air dodges and frame trap uh, with other aerials out of it. Yeah, Bowser is, like, still the heaviest character in the game. So he's going to survive that F-Smash. Yeah, he dumb thick. Yeah, dummy thick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, oh, Lord. Great back air there from Leon. Gets the job done. And again, still, that, that, unfortunately for Diddy, he doesn't have the same, like, you know, potent kill options and kill setups. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, why'd you roll? You, you could have, actually, no, if he held shield, it might have just broken shield. No, it, it probably would have. Yeah, he... If, because I think people forget that Bowser's up smash is, it hits twice. Yeah. Like it hits like on the way up and on the way down. But needless to say, Dill gets himself on the board here, but has a, a lot of ground to make up right now. Yeah, that up always been a good move for Bowser. Like in melee, it was like his only like usable, like one of the very few usable moves he had. Yeah, it came out like frame one or something. Yeah, it was like invincible too. So it's basically a shine. But it made a great noise too. Like the, yeah. the buzz, like the buzzsaw sound effects for melee. I need the, I need people yeah. to bring that back. Man. Yeah, honestly, in general, melee had pretty good sound design. Needless to say, this is not melee. This is, uh, and that's also the really scary part about this matchup. Like when Bowser uses banana on Diddy Kong, there's always there was always like a handful oh. of characters that could use. Oh. I love that tomahawk. Yeah, that was nuts. Coming in from Leon. Yeah. Leon looked very, very comfortable in that matchup. Yeah. And it's weird. Leon kind of had like a, uh, I don't, a, a slightly slower start to the beginning of this game. He was playing a lot of Game & Watch uh, to start. And uh, since he's been playing, favoring Bowser much more in this game, it looks like we're going to go to Smashville for our next stage. Yeah, and Smashville. Uh, I like to say a lot in this game. I mainly don't. because it's oh, okay. <laughs> all right. you, you can continue though. Yeah, just because it's so like it's so small, it kind of forces interaction. That's fair. I just don't like the platform. I just feel like I don't know, man. Like I know I'm definitely in the minority when I say this, but like I just miss like I don't know, man. Maybe maybe people like it moving. Yeah, it's, man. It's honestly hard to say. Oh, look at that. We oh we have the uh, family com Rob. Yeah, it's the Famicom. Actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Family con. Come on. I'm using full words here. <laughs> You think it's yeah, so we'll see how this works out. We'll see how this works out here. I, I got nothing else. I just like, you know, roasting my friends was necessary. Watching Rob get grabbed by Bowser is very funny. It's my, <laughs> it's my toy. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn to yeah. play as a robotic operating buddy. Oh, wow. That, that's so weird. How did he cross him up with down air? That was, maybe it's because he landed on Deloitte and then, like, pushed him behind the shield. Yeah, like, that's probably it. Oh, boy, I mean gyro, uh, the gyro. I guess the side B once again. And oh, wait, this is town. This isn't natural. Oh, never mind. That was weird. All right, whatever. All right, needless to say, town and city, uh, not the uh, not the, the small ceiling uh, stage, uh, counterpick stage that we all knew and loved in Smash 4. It now has, I believe, the largest uh, vertical blast zone in the entire game. But, yeah, it's pretty um, big. Yeah, it's pretty big, but the side, but the horizontal uh, blast zones are still quite small. So yeah, so that's honestly like probably good for Rob because he might be trying to take him off the side of the stage with like side B, where like, yep, yep, he will help them both kind of. <laughs> Ew, equally. that's the noise he makes when he gets star KO'd. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> he just makes like weird computer noises. 
What if he just made like the sound of a like a fax machine or something? <laughs> <laughs> he just makes the like the window starting noise when he yeah. dies. <laughs> Alright, All right, trying to get something uh, trying to get the stock with the side B, but Leon able to just escape then. Uh, any harm right there. Look, Bowser being a bigger boy in the blast zone change is definitely proven to be uh, you know, a good counter pick stage here for Leon, at least in regards to vertical survivability. Because that up air definitely would have killed him in Smash 4. But back air, nonetheless, finds its mark. So still in much better shape in the start of this game than he oh was in the Oh my last goodness. Game. That was nutty. If that actually worked, that would have been crazy. You know, you ever see a combo and you're just like, man, I wish the other guy didn't hold shield, so it would have <laughs> looked cool. <laughs> All right, they'll continue the fight right here. Goes for the up throw uh, in place of down throw. Got him on a ledge. What's the ledge trap? Oh, Ooh. the ledge trap is back air. Yeah. And the, ledge, and the winner is back air. Yeah. Uh, what is back air? <laughs> and once again, goes for the down air, but not going to cross up uh, Rob's shield this time. There we go. Yeah, just gonna go for the berry up smash. Still very, very good. Oh boy. Where did oh, the top go? Oh, there it is. Oh, we just there. turned it too. Yeah, good reaction uh, right there from Leon. But here we go. Uh, Rob, still uh, very good at keeping you uh, in the air and juggling you. Oh my goodness. Oh, Look at all that damage racking up from the gyro. Then, uh, Leon finds himself in uh, just uh, a deficit for the first time this set. Back air yeah. once again, kind of gonna find its mark. It seems like I think Dill finally like is kind of like getting adjusted to fighting Bowser. Yeah. Just in general. I feel like Rob just also has like better tools to combat Bowser than Diddy Kong did. Yeah. Gets the bury. Ooh, gonna get the up tilt. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but regardless, we're gonna get uh, good damage out of it. Oh, oh, the gyro coming in clutch there for support. And we are going to see a third game between these guys. So after a. Explosive uh, first game from Leon. Uh, yeah. The counterpick to Rob. Uh, to get the job done for Dill. Rob's victory animations are fantastic. Like, <laughs> he's yes, I won. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was saying it's such a like you know the the future that the Grand Priest was fighting for in Super in the Subspace Emissary. It only took like a you know next for like ten or so years for that to finally meet its fruition in uh, this game. Yeah. So. I think it's so cool how, like, in Smash Brothers, they consider, like, subspace, like, canon. Like, with Rob's name on the boxing ring, where he's, like, called the last of his kind. Oh, yeah, that's awesome, man. And, like, how Palutena and Pitt mention it in the, in the guidance. I don't know if you guys knew this, but the, the longest-running fan fiction on the internet is actually Super Smash Brothers Brawl fan fiction. Yeah. It used to be the longest, like, piece of literature, like, in general. <laughs> but, like, I forget what overtook it. That's... That is fantastic. Yeah. Can I get that, like, leather bound or, like, paperback or something? Bro, like, it'd be so big. <laughs> I'd read it. Yeah, you would. Just write really small. I'd write, I'd read the uh, uh, Sparknote summary. <laughs> it's gotten me this far. All right, so let's see if, uh, if Battlefield makes a difference here. Again, uh, a different platform layout to work with. I feel like the, uh, the static platforms are definitely going to benefit Bowser. Uh, you know, yeah. slightly more than Rob. Yeah, I feel like Bowser's giant hitboxes are going to be able to cover the platforms really well. Yeah, because like, because because of how the platforms were laid out in uh in town and city, it, it looked like they put like um it put Bowser like closer to the blast zone. At least now, like you know, you're gonna have like just a, more of a of a consistent landscape to work with. So, needless to say, uh, Leon gets the first stock here. So, off to a already a really very good start. Oh, okay. Up from ledge. Kind of reverses the situation. See Leon going for a grab, but gonna come up empty. Oh, that F smash looked pretty Ooh. safe from that distance. Yeah, that was kind of nuts. Gets the grab once again, just goes for the back throw for safe positioning. Oh, okay. So in this game, get up attacks are invincible, so even though Leon had the gyro and he put it at the ledge, Rob was able to get up attack through it and like hit Bowser. What a game. Yeah, I mean, that's honestly, like, one of the best changes. Oh, yeah. Because now, like, all those cheesy ledge trap scenarios where, like, you cover everything are, are like, gone. Oh. That could have been very bad for Leon, but, uh... Yeah, that would have been a really big, like, swing momentum there. 
Keep that in mind, because that definitely looks like something that could uh, come into play once again. Oh, is oh! he dead? Oh, no, 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 he's fine. Yeah, I think if he got the initial, like, hit of that, that probably would have been enough to, like, steal the stock away. Oh, right. that forward air. Finding a landing with it. So very, very good. See, I love how you, they, like, purposely put, like, the, the fuel gauge on Rob's side, but I still can't freaking see anything. Wait, they did? Yeah. They talk about that one of the directs. There's, like, this blue, like, little thing that goes up and... Oh, my Rob's goodness. Jazzy. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, well, someone doesn't watch the Nintendo directs, obviously. That did 52. Jesus. Yeah. God, Bowser had... Oh, my goodness. He tried to end everything. He could have just back aired him. But, no, he wanted to go for the complete disrespect. Ooh, good oh, that gyro placement. Oh, barely misses that down there. He had the right setup. That's how you edge guard Bowser. Oh, that's going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, see, you see Dill's face? He's just like, interesting. Yeah. As the nair to backer connects, Leon uh, moves on. Yeah, so like right there we see that, um, like he took his jump and he, like Bowser only had one option to up B. But then he gets a nice nair to backer to take the game, or the set. It'd be real nice, man. All right, so that was a good set there from Leon. So. Yeah.